Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Gillian if you're new here. And there's an aeroplane going past my window. Okay, the aeroplane's away, we can continue. So today's video is a what I got for Christmas 2020 video. I think I've done two of these previously. I might be wrong, but I think it's two years ago I started doing this. But as always, I'm not bragging, I am just enjoy watching these myself because I'm quite nosy and I like to see what people have got. So, And it doesn't need to be said, but I am very grateful for the position I am in. I know this year has been tough for everybody. It's not intended to offend anyone. I tried to make the background nice being in front of my tree, but it's quite a, quite a yellow light over this way. So I apologise if the lighting's a bit messed up. But anyway, we shall just start. So the main present I can't actually show you at the moment because we've not got it yet but my mum is buying Ryan and I a new bed and we've picked a king size bed, we're upgrading. I'm very excited about it but we're waiting to buy it just because Ryan and I took ages to pick one that we liked. But we actually picked one the other day so my mum just needs to order it and then I'm sure I'll show you in a video soon. But yeah, so Ryan and I's main present from my mum was a king size bed. Another kind of big present was from my granny. She got me this soup maker. It's the large size. Um, and my mum suggested it to her because I kept stealing my mum's soup maker and having to take it back and forth to each other's houses. So I've now got one of my own. So I'm going to be busy making lots of soup. It is potentially another gadget that I don't need, but it's so handy compared to having to cook the soup and then blend it separately because the soup maker has a smooth function that's got blades on it so yeah very excited to have my own soup maker and this came as a set with a flask as well so this is the little flask it comes with Super cute and it'll be handy going to my work. While we're on the subject of kitchen gadgets, I had asked Ryan to get a pop, well, I had said in passing that I wanted a popcorn maker and he got one for me. He also got popcorn kernels, but it's away in the kitchen. So this is the popcorn maker. It's by the brand Von Chef and it's so, it's like smaller than I thought it would be. So that's good for storage wise. It's got a little scoop for the oil and then it'll come out at the front here. I'm so excited. I just thought it would be a little bit healthier for me to have popcorn as a snack in the evening rather than sitting with a bag of crisps. So yeah, I'm excited to try it out and make some popcorn. I feel like I'm all over the place with whose gift was from who so I'll just go back to my mum and then move on to other people so that I don't forget anything. So one of the things she got me as a surprise was a makeup brush cleaner that's by the brand Style Pro. I had seen these on YouTube testing it out and I was a bit worried because um, people had gave them a couple of bad reviews on YouTube but the reviews of the actual company are really good and people say it works so hopefully it does and it dries your brushes as well and it comes with two little sashes it's like an electric brush cleaner for your makeup and it comes with two little brush cleaner sashes and then she also got me a bigger bottle that's vegan as well which is good of the brush cleaner so that'll last me a while i feel like it's always a big effort to wash your brushes so this should make things easier my mum bought me this cookbook by bosch it's speedy bosch i have never owned a bosch cookbook before but i had seen how good they looked and this one had a recipe for macaroni cheese that looked really nice so that's why I wanted this one and these are going to be handy because it's all things that you can make quickly and a lot of the reason that I'm struggling to eat healthy at the moment is because I feel like I've not got any time so this will be handy I'll show you the macaroni cheese one because I just think it looked really yummy and my granny had a look through this book on Christmas day and she thought a lot of the recipes looked good and my granny's not vegan so there it's there ultimate mac and cheese and it looks delicious so i'm excited to try it and like i said there's so many other really good recipes in here that i'm excited to try out so yeah i'm glad i got this maybe i'll get some of the other bosch recipe books if this one turns out that like i end up using a lot of the recipes inside my mum also got me this gin 
It's a colour changing gin by McQueen. You can get it in Aldi and it goes from blue to pink when you put um, your like mixer in. I think it only works if you put tonic in. Premium tonic, yeah. So I'm excited to try this out. I've never tasted this one before and it says it's juicy forest fruits and I really like forest fruit cider so I'm sure I will like this. And then to go with the gin, I'll just pop it down here. She bought me these, this set of fancy gin glasses. They're Irish crystal and they're like, honestly like fish bowls. <laughs> I've been wanting a gin glass like this for ages. Hopefully, you, can you see that? I'll do that. There we go. It's huge. Might try this out on New Year's. And there's another one for Ryan if he wants. I had to run upstairs and get one of the last things my mum got me because I've literally been wearing it since Christmas and it is this fleece hoodie thing. I do have one in grey but it was a cheap thing off Groupon and it wasn't actually fleecy on the inside as well so I'm glad I've got this one and it's a lot longer than my other one as well and it's got, it's just a big fluffy hoodie, it's got a big pocket and it's super cosy because I'm always cold so I was so happy to get that I wasn't expecting it and it goes down to my knees so I'm very cosy on the couch or just going about the house wearing this and it's so soft I love it so I think that's everything my mum got me I will come back to anything if I've missed it but um next my granny like I said got me that suit maker she also gave me some money and I think that was it and then we'll go to Ryan next, my fiance. He got me, my main present was a few candles. So I can't remember if it was for my birthday or Christmas, but last year Ryan definitely got me this brand of candle before. It's Forever Wick Candle Company. Um, and in every candle there's a diamond. And I think these were worth $75 in my pack. I think it's there, because you can kind of see a little bit of discoloration so you need to let it burn all the way down and then you get a little diamond at the bottom it's a good idea and i think if you collect 10 of the little diamonds they make them into a pair of earrings or a necklace for you so i'm excited to potentially do that if i get through enough candles um i don't know how to describe this one but it's stress relief and it smells really nice um and then i've also got another couple of stress relief things that I, from the same company and um, this is a scented sugar scrub and it's just green and then the same kind of collection this is a bath bomb and it comes with a ring inside and it says the ring is valued at 75 dollars it smells really refreshing so i'm excited to try that out and get some stress relief <laughs> and then he did get me another bath bomb that's got a ring inside it's I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's there it's a little pink diamond one and this one is a galaxy bath bomb so i'm excited to have a little pamper night to myself with all these items then ryan got me a gymshark bra this is one that i had been wanting for a while and then i think he got it on black friday in their big sale so it's the black camo sports bra and it's crisscrossed at the back not that i'll be able to bloom and use it lately with the lockdowns but once the gyms reopen i'll be able to wear them wear it and it just looks like that it's called the adapt camo seamless sports bra so yeah i'm excited to wear this because i've got black leggings and then i've also got camo leggings so it'll kind of match the two options it'll go with quite a lot of my leggings so i was happy that i got that I actually didn't think he'd bought me it but he ended up that he had um because he'd got himself a bag on black friday and i only saw that package come in but he sneaked this in the house as well then ryan obviously knows the way to my heart he got me a box of the nomo caramel filled chalk drops these are the most incredible chocolates you will ever taste they're amazing i love all the normal bars but the salted caramel ones are or the caramel filled ones are my favorite another food item that ryan got me is this cute tin of oreos it's got little penguins on it and i'll be able to keep the box after i use it as well it's super cute 
and it's got normal brownie and the golden oreos in it so it's all vegan and they come in little sachets like two two in a pack so it'll be handy so I don't demolish the whole tin. I've never tried these before but Ryan also got me Livia's Nugglets raw cookie dough and they just look like that. My camera's not wanting to focus so I'm very sorry if it's blurry but that's what the box looks like. It's all like healthy or natural things. It's dates, oats, raw chocolate, maple syrup, pink salt and coconut sugar and that's everything so not the most unhealthy thing you can eat I suppose and I'm sure it'll taste good. The last food item that Ryan got me was this cute bottle of heart gummies and I've already had one out of it but they fill it quite high so that's what it looks like and I've got lots of sweets to get through. I do like my fizzy sweets so I'm looking forward to getting through these. So I'll do my sisters-in-law. So Ryan's sister and her wife got me, the main present was money because I had asked for a shoe voucher to get a pair of Converse but we were a bit worried about getting shop vouchers if with the pandemic you don't know what will happen since Debenhams is shutting down now, it's terrible. So they thought it would be better and safer just to give me money for the Converse rather than a shop voucher. So I've got that that I need to spend. But they also got me a couple of other bits. So they know that I love New Look. So they got me a pink fluffy hat from New Look. Super cosy. And this matching scarf. It's like a pinky cream and black tone. I'm never good at picking scarves but I do really like this one and it's so soft so that'll look nice and match because I've got a black jacket and a grey jacket so it'll match with both of those and my sister-in-law always has good taste so I'm glad she picked those out for me I think yeah that scarves from New Look as well and then the last thing they got me was this big bag of candy kittens which contains 10 mini bags of all the flavours it's just vegan fizzy sweets so I'm excited to try them because I've not tried all the flavours. There's Eat On Mess, Sour Watermelon, Peach Fizz, Wild Strawberry and Blueberry Bliss. My other granny on my dad's side gave me money too so I've not got anything to show. And then Ryan's grandma and granddad did the same, they gave me money. So I've only got, I've got a few service users that gifted me stuff and then my mother-in-law and then that's us done. So one of my service users' parents actually own a small business making hand poured candles. So as a Christmas present for the staff, they let us pick a candle of like, pick the fragrance that we wanted. So I picked, I think it's Fairy Dust. I'll not show you the company just for privacy reasons because it is someone I work with so I don't want to give away their address that's on the sticker but it's called Fairy Dust and it's just a little jar candle like that and it smells like baby powder, it is amazing. It was really hard to pick what scents I wanted as well because we do so many nice ones. But yeah, that was one of the little gifts I got from my service user. Another service user got me a little hand cream set because they know that we use like sanitizer and have to wash our hands so often now. Um, so it's a Laura Ashley set and it came with a hand and nail cream, a lip balm and a little nail file that's super cute. So that's what it looks like and it's like a florally garden scent it's really nice so I'll definitely be putting those in my handbag. The last service user that gave me a little present was a girl that I work with. It's usually just me that works with her unless I'm on annual leave so I get her every week so we're quite close now and our mum was far too generous but I really appreciated it so they got me. And the first thing was a set of Radley socks and it comes in a three pack and they're just, one's got a little dog, purple, one with a shooting star and then a glittery pair. They're really nice. I couldn't believe that they'd got me something from Radley, like it was so generous. And then the other thing is this cute molten brown set that's got a little shower gel inside in the shape of a bobble. How cute is that? And it's in the scent muddled plum it smells really nice and again so grateful 
I obviously don't do my job to get gifts at Christmas but I think they just appreciate especially this year how tough it's been for everybody so just giving us a little thank you so I do really appreciate it and we shall move on to my mother-in-law and then that's us finished. So the first main thing that my mother-in-law gave me was something I asked for and it's this heated blanket. Oh my god guys it is incredible. I've literally fell asleep every time I've used it. It's I'm not gonna open it all up but it covers my whole body and it's just a grey fleece material and it plugs in somewhere. I think Ryan was using it earlier so the plug's over there but it matches our living room and it's amazing. I've actually took it to bed a few times when I was cold and it's just beautiful. Don't know how I lived without a heated blanket for so many years. It's lovely so I really appreciate that and Ryan's been liking it as well. He's been borrowing it quite a few times now. I'm not showing everything that like my mum and my mother-in-law got me just because there was lots of little bits but I'll just show the main things. One of the things my mother-in-law got me was this pyjama set with Thumper and Bambi on it. It's super cute. And the bottoms have like gold foil flowers on them as well and they're like fleecy material. They'll be so cosy and I'm very excited to try them on. I always get cold so I appreciate a fluffy pair of pyjamas. Then in my stocking she gave me a little flower bath light and I thought this would be cute when I'm trying to relax in the bath. It needs three batteries but it just looks like that and it projects coloured lights in the bathtub and I thought it would be nice when I've got like candles going and my little lush bath bomb in and yeah I thought that was a good idea. And then I've got a lot of chocolate as well from my mother-in-law so I'll just get it and show you. Oh this is from Ryan's grandma because she knows that I really like these as well as the money that she gave me. It's Frutella Sour Snakes. These are one of the best fizzy sweeties you can get. They're amazing. So she knew I like these and got them as well. But the chocolate from Ryan's mum. There is a pack of salted caramel cups. I've never seen these before. They look really nice. So I hope they are good. It's sea salted caramel as well. That's one of my favourite flavours. So I'm excited to try them. And then I got a little tub of candy kittens. I can't actually remember if this was my mum or Ryan's mum that got me them. But it's just a fancy little tub full of tropical mango. Then we have a chocolate Santa and a chocolate reindeer. The Moo Free San Original Santa got a couple of those and then a candy kittens peach fizz and eat on mess so I've got lots of sweeties as well as chocolate I think that's everything chocolate and sweetie wise I've just found something that was from my mum actually it's this vegan leather purse and it's got a little bunny keyring on it with a nice grey tassel because she knows I'm bad for not carrying a proper purse around with me so this is just a little mini one and then it's got a section for your cards and notes and stuff like that. Then my mother-in-law got me this cute mug with thumper socks as well and it says too cute to care. So as you'll know I love my rabbits. We're on to the last few bits now so another candle. My mother-in-law got me this one. I thought it had a lid on where it was from but it doesn't say. It's got a lovely winter design in it. There's like pine cones and bits of pine trees. It's so cute. I lit it already because when I was at my mum's house I wanted to smell it. It was really nice. So yeah, that'll look nice in my living room. Then I just got some nail files in my stocking. They're always handy to use. A little G compact mirror. There's this choker set from M&S. It's like a velvety bit there and then a chain with a hoop. Be nice with this outfit actually. I got this bracelet. I couldn't tell if it was a hairband or a bracelet at first but it's a bracelet. Ties like that. It's got a little charm and then just a sparkly bit there. I thought that looked really nice. And then the last thing that was in my stocking was this little benefit set. I was joking to Ryan that his mum thought I was getting old because it comes with uh, eye cream 
but it's actually a really nice eye cream. I've had it before. It comes with a Their Real Mascara. It looks like a brown one. An eye cream, a Stay Don't Stray Primer and a Brow Wax Certificate. Oh, I didn't realise that before so it'll come with a little voucher to get your eyebrows done. Oh, that's clever. That'd be nice to try. Obviously, when the shops are open again, but I thought it was just a little set of three minis, but that's cute that you're able to get your eyebrows waxed. It's a good idea. Anyway, guys, that is everything that I am showing you from what I got for Christmas this year. As always, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you liked and subscribe down below. It would mean a lot to me and... I hope you all had a really nice Christmas despite the circumstances and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!